How's it going combatants, Realm Jumper here, back for another video. This one's a more of a short one, but today we're discussing new news and updates we've had on the Mortal Kombat movie that's coming out this year, April 16th, 2021. Um, we have some press release photos, we also have an update on the movie in general, mainly the story. We have a synopsis of the story now, so we can get a basic idea of what's going to happen across the board during the movie. And um, it seems interesting, to say the least. As a mega fan of Mortal Kombat, I'm not too happy with some of the changes they have made and some of the original moves they have played, but there is some things that I'm optimistic about. And without further ado, I'm going to get into what we have of the new NK movie, uh, April 16th, 2021. So first of all, let's discuss these screenshots here. They're very interesting, and I don't know what to think about them, to be completely honest. We have a look at the characters, mainly Liu Kang, Kung Lao, Jax, uh, Kano, and this new character who is called Cole Young, I believe. I think it was Cole Turner before, but then it got changed. Um, so now it's Cole Young, and this is an original movie character. There's been a lot of theories. Some people are saying it's Johnny Cage. I don't think it's that one. Some people are saying it's a descendant of a character. And there are a lot more theories that suggest this character is more than what he is described as which is a washed up MMA fighter that's currently in a bad spot and apparently he finds m out more about himself from the Mortal Kombat tournament so that's kind of interesting although I don't know why they picked him over Johnny Cage because Johnny Cage is great comic relief he is great for inducting people into the MK franchise as a whole and he is a very relatable character since he is also going into the tournament not knowing what's going to happen just like us and of course, who could forget the iconic Those were $500 sunglasses, asshole. He was just such a standout character and a great part of the original cast of the 1995 movie, and it is such a shame that from what we have learned, he's not going to be in this movie at all. It's a bit of a letdown, but I feel like if Cole Young is a good enough character, he might just make up for the lack of Johnny Cage. But a lot of Johnny Cage fans are going to be disappointed here. Also in the news, um, we have a synopsis here, which I'm going to read out now. Mortal Kombat, produced by Todd Garner and Aquaman's James Wan, begins with a crucial piece of lore from the original games, the blood feud between the clans of Hanzo and Biha. Warriors Joe Tessin. The 10 minute opening sequence kicks off in feudal Japan, long before these fighters wielded supernatural abilities as Scorpion and Sub-Zero, and it ends in a pretty nasty hand-to-hand -hand combat between the two. McQuaid says. It's why the first time feature filmmaker casts Sanada and Taslim, two actors known for their martial arts prowess. Hanzo's the leader of a ninja clan and he's strong, but also at the beginning he's a peaceful family man, Sanada says. It's like a family drama with excitingly brutal fighting. That's the image of this movie for me, he adds. The story of Bihan and Hanzo needed to be told within the fight, McQuaid says. There are some great camera moves to give it a bit of dynamism that make it really enjoyable. We needed it to be really elemental and really brutal. It's not a shiny film. I wanted the dirt and grime to come through. That brutality carries over to the present, where we meet Cole, a wholly new character to the Mortal Kombat universe, played by actor and martial artist Louis Tan, Wu Assassins and Into the Badlands. Someone who prides himself on performing his own stunts despite the aches and pains that come along the way from training. When we first meet Cole, he's in a really bad spot, Tan says. He's down on his luck. He's kind of a washed up MMA fighter who used to be a champion. Who used to believe in himself? Who used to have a lot of hope in his career? And now it's all gone down the drain. It's a very interesting place for a hero to start and I think that along the journey of Mortal Kombat and Cole discovering where he comes from, you're introduced to all these other iconic characters and elements that everybody loves so dearly. Cole knows nothing of his heritage aside from the mysterious birthmark on his chest in the shape of the Mortal Kombat symbol. Tam remains mum on how this birthmark connects to the character's origins, but agrees it's a unique symbol that will eventually tie into the journey that he's going on. It remains the only clue Cole has when the sinister sorcerer and emperor of the realm of Outworld, Shang Tsung, skyscrapers Chin Han, sends Sub-Zero, now with his cryomancy powers, to hunt him down. Major Briggs, a special forces major who bears the same mark as Cole, urges him to seek out Sonya Blade. She ferries him onward to the next leg of the journey, 
to the thunderous elder god known as Lord Raiden, who grants sanctuary at his temple to all those with the mark. There, Cole encounters even more recognizable characters from the Mortal Kombat games, Liu Kang, Kung Lao, and Kano. So, with that all out of the way, I'd like to draw attention to some of the strange changes we've had made for this movie. Um, for example, we have Raiden as an Elder God instead of a regular God. That's a bit of a weird one, but um, we'll see how it works out. I think it could work, it's not that much of a change, unless he's actually sitting up with the Elder Gods on their massive throne chairs or some shit. Then it would be a bit strange. But um, we've also got Shang Tsung being the Emperor of Outworld. That's really, really, really strange. Does that mean we're not getting Shao Kahn? And actually, that ties into my next point. We've had rumors of this guy coming back. Yes, that's right. We've had rumors of Reiko coming back into the Mortal Kombat movie. And if he is a villain in this movie, and there is no Shao Kahn, I want to see how that works out. It's going to be very odd and very interesting. But it sure will be interesting to see Reiko come back, and in a movie no less. That would be really cool. But it's, we'll see how he ties into things, if it is even him. It could be Shao Kahn, you never know. Also, another weird change is that Sub-Zero isn't a born cryomancer. So Bihan isn't born with his powers. That's very odd as well. He's going to be getting them later on in the movie, presumably. I mean, from what we've read there, he's not got his powers when he's fighting with Hanzo at the beginning of the movie. So that's also odd. Also, the idea of the Mortal Kombat logo tattoos is very strange. I wonder how that's going to work out. I mean, obviously it's going to determine who's going to be in the tournament, of course, I'd imagine. And it will show who are chosen to be in the tournament. But how is it actually going to play into things? Because it's said to be a birthmark. Meaning that you're born with this tattoo of a dragon logo on your body and then you're told by interdimensional beings, gods, hell demons and cryomancers that you have been selected for a magical bullshit tournament with no tournament bracket governed by a shape-shifting sorcerer. Like, what the fuck, man? How is this gonna work? How is it gonna play in? I'm very interested. Please don't let it be like the stupid fucking Annihilation tattoos. Please, please, please don't let it be Annihilation tattoos again. But it is interesting. I want to see what they do with this concept. But anyway, with that, that's basically the end of this video. If you feel like liking and subscribing, that'd be greatly appreciated. You can turn on notifications too if you feel like it. And this was very interesting to research. This is basically all the news we have right now, but until a trailer drops, I feel like that's all we're probably going to get. It is interesting to see how this movie's coming along, and while I don't have mega high hopes for it, I hope it's better than what a lot of people are saying it's going to be. Um, so if you do, again, feel like liking and subscribing, please do so, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs> Excellent, Cyrus.